Hello. So today I am solving concert ticket problem from sorting and searching of yes yes problem set. So the task is there are n concert tickets available each with a certain price. Then m customers arrive one after another. Each customer announces the maximum price he or she is willing to pay for the ticket. And after this there will be a ticket. With the interest possible, nearest possible price, or to exceed the maximum price. The first input line contains n and m, the number of ticket and number. The next contain size of ticket and maximum price each customer is willing to pay. Okay. So here this is total number of available ticket which is five, and the price of each ticket is uh, suppose this. Let us say five unit. Three unit, seven unit, eight unit, and five unit. There are total uh, three customers who are willing to pay four, eight, and three units. If customer will receive the ticket, we will have to provide the customer with the nearest possible ticket price. So let us say here the customer with four, we will give him the ticket of three unit. The which is nearest here second customer requires eight so we will give him this ticket with eight third requires with three but uh, as we have already allocated this three to four so we will print minus one so let us discuss the approach we are using let us say Price of tickets customer max price price. Let us take the same example five three seven eight five. So here. Five, three, seven, eight, and five. And customers max price is uh, four, eight, three, four, eight, and three. So what we'll do is first of all we will short this uh, array. So this will be three, five, five, seven, eight. So after sorting, this will be three, five, five. Seven, eight. We will take another list, which is check checklist to see if the ticket is already sold or is it still available. So it will be false. Okay. So here whenever the ticket is sold we will turn this checklist to true. So in this case so what we will do is we will check each element of customer's max price and uh, we will see the nearest possible price and when the ticket is sold we will uh, turn this to true. Okay so when this first customer arrive who requires the ticket with the price near to 4 we will give him the ticket with uh, 3 unit and turn this to 2 now when the second customer with 8 units arrives we will give him this ticket and this ticket is 2 or we can also say sold Okay. Now the third customer arrives. He wants ticket with the price three. So here we have ticket with the price three. So it will check in the list and we'll see there is a price three. But here as it is sold, what we will do next is we will check another ticket here if available. But uh, here we do not have any ticket uh, with the price less than that. So we will uh, print minus one as a output. Now let us code this.
Okay. Uh, input will be as usual ls integer i or i in input dot split and as we are having three line of input so for dash in range three So here we got our input now we will take our split the input so the n and m will be ls of zero the first line the cost will be ls of one and the pay will be and that's all. Okay. Here we can see the N is N is total number of tickets. And M is total number of customers. Here, cost will be a price of all available tickets, and this will be. Price which customer is willing to pay. Okay, now we will take the next uh, which is check, which will be false and it will be of the length. Uh, length of cost okay now uh, let us start mm, okay so for x in we'll have to sort sort length of one for x in Uh, we will have to find at uh, which, which position the current value of uh, x will be there so for finding the position nearest to it we will import uh, bisect function from bisect import bisect right okay i equal to bisect right in cost of x so what basically this bisect right function do is it gives us the index i where the current value x will be placed uh, let us see next print x this is current value print this is price list uh, cost and this is high okay let us give this input okay 
so what this uh, bisect right function do is uh, here the current value is 4 okay and the sorted list is this so here the bisect right give us one so one is if we want to place this current number 4 in our list then at one index we can put it like uh, we are having one element here before the four now let us see second element eight so if you want to insert this eight in this list we can insert it at zero one two three four and fifth position which will be here uh, similarly if you want to insert this three in this list then it will be at zero one position okay so it will give us the position okay we got the position at which it can be placed so by getting the position like uh, here for four we get position one so we now know that at a position zero there will be ticket which we can sell similarly here when we, we say eight and when we play uh, it gives us five so at index four there will be ticket which we can sell similarly here at it gives us one so at index i uh, one minus one is zero we, there will be ticket which can be sold okay so if i is uh, equal to length of cost means that uh, it will be the last value and check of i minus 1 is equal to false then then cost of i minus 1 and check of i minus 1 will be true or we can say sold right now while while okay we have checked it for this else uh, else uh, we will subtract the value of i okay and uh, while i is greater than equal to zero and check of i is true i minus equal to 1 so what we have done here is if uh, the check of i is already sold or we can say already to do okay, let add this condition equal equal to oh, so if it will be already true then we will shift one position left in the list okay if i is greater than equal to zero i is greater than equal to zero what we will do is we will do the same procedure we have done here print and check we will print cost of i and check of i will be turned through else print minus 1 mm. right ok so here one more condition will be there when we bisect this and suppose if we didn't get the value of i then so if i if we get value of i then only this all function will be done and in else part what we will do is we will print minus 1 
okay here we got answer 38 minus 1 yes 38 minus 1 thank you for watching the video